happy day, I'm glad. We are going into a third lockdown and my nails are just, I've had to do them by myself and I'm terrible at doing them by myself. So today we're gonna watch some beautiful, all these satisfying nail art. All the beautiful things that I'm missing out on for how long, I don't know. Okay, this is just weird. You're cutting some fibers off of a brush and putting it on your nail for reasons unknown? Oh! I mean, that's kinda cool. Could you not have done that without the brush? I guess that, like this kind of gave it the integrity, wow. This went from five minute crafts to like an actual useful, awesome thing. I'm very impressed. So this one kind of makes me sick, okay? So they're taking the nail off. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's not hurting the person, but the nail drill, I can't, I can't. It's so weird. That's so weird! <laughs> okay, so I started growing up my nails in March. Oh, girl, those are so long. Those are so thin. Those look like they're gonna break. They were very weak and would break a lot. Oh, girl, those are so yellow. But they look really good when they're painted. Like, she has a very, like, dainty, cute hand shape. Ew. Oh, I hate when nails break. Oh, oh! Whoa! Those are absolutely massive. I just don't get why they're so yellow. Maybe take some supplements, Maybe take some collagen. Like personally, I don't know if that helps, but I take it and my nails are a lot like whiter and thicker than that. And like they never break. I've also been told that like typing on a keyboard makes your nails stronger. I don't know if that is a thing either, but my nails are really strong. Wait, why is the acrylic underneath the actual nail? That's weird, I've never seen that before. Why are you using gold foil? Whoa! This is one of the coolest nails I've ever seen! This nail is 3D! Oh, that is so cool. I've only ever seen like tables like that. It looks like there's like a little village underneath the table. That is so cool. That's just crazy. This like one try and just getting it perfect nail life. I can't believe it. I'm so jealous. This is just like ASMR, but instead of wishing I was eating, I'm wishing that like my nails were better. Okay, she, they're getting the chains out. You're gonna have to make these so thick for the, ooh, that looks really, really cool. It's a lot of glitter, but it looks really cool. Okay, why are you cutting up a leaf? There's some real, my nails are biodegradable, don't mind me. That's kind of cool. Imagine somebody gets like a bug in their nail. Has anyone ever done that before? Stop. People have actually done it. I don't want to be rude, but this looks kind of tragic. Yike. Okay, there was one where somebody was like trying to put live ants in and I can't with that. This, oh, this one like almost looks cool. It's like almost there, but like it's not. I don't, I can't. This is horrendous. This is supposed to be oddly satisfying. I'm getting out of here. I'm starting to like the leaf a lot better now. That's really pretty. There's so many good ideas out there. How is this chrome so good? Huh? Man, the innovation, the innovation in nail art is absolutely insane. This person right here is painting up their nail like a jawbreaker and I wanna know why. Why would you do that, hmm? Please don't tell me you're gonna take the drill and, yeah. Oh, oh! I really, 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 really like that. My only issue with this is I feel like unless the top coat was like really thick, I'd be able to feel how uneven it was and it would really bother me. But that looks beautiful. This is so cool. This is like a watercolor. Oh wow. This reminds me of the time I tried to pour paint on my nails and it was a lot harder than it looked. That's the funny thing about this is how easy it looks when really like, girl, you're drawing tiny, tiny little snowflakes. How are you pulling such a straight line? Like I swear these people could be tattoo artists. Wow, they're so much stronger and the longest they've ever been. Wait, what did you do, girl? What did you do? Oh my goodness, those are so long. So the caption says, I guess there is no exact answer to the question. Like she didn't really answer the question. I think maybe, maybe just the act of having longer nails made them stronger. I I know personally that like having these kinds of acrylics, like whenever I take them off, my nails are so weak after and that's why I never really get acrylics. Okay, wanna see the most satisfying thing in the world? This. Like, wow. Wow, it would be 
be so fun to be like a nail artist because you just get that you squeeze the jelly on and look how perfect that jelly spreads out and then you put it under a light and then it hardens it is just so like like nail art is so satisfying and I miss going there and I miss watching and I miss it being gel so I could like still text because my nails wouldn't be wet for a long time like having wet nails for two hours I can't stand it oh it is the worst I do love my hollow taco though oh this is just Stunning girl, what are you doing? <gasps> How do you keep it like that? I know I'm jealous. What? Huh? I'm terrible at transitions, girl. It doesn't even matter. That's some of the nicest, like, brand name nails I've ever seen. They look like an, a rainbow sherbet. Look at this, like this, this is what you have. Oh, I'm so hungry now. Mmm. I don't know why I Googled that and now I'm dying. <laughs> Oh girl, girl, the nails, like, they're so busted underneath. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good size. I like when you get, like, really, really long acrylics on and then you, like, get them cut to your perfect size and then they're all sharp and then you get them filed and then they're all smooth. Everything about nails is just so satisfying to me. Mm-hmm. Get it in. Ah. Uh, that looks like your real nail now! Okay, so how does she get that line? How does she get that so straight? Because I really, really struggle with that. Like sometimes I like paint over my cuticle and it's a mess. And sometimes I have to like take a brush and like with nail polish remover and like try to get it like perfectly beautiful. So it like is just at the cuticle, but not touching it. Like you have like a tiny, tiny little margin of error to do this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Girl, how are you gonna do this on your non-dominant hand? It did. You did such a good job and you have such pretty hands. I think it's because of TikTok or something, but like I've been noticing like the shape of people's hands a lot. And I saw this girl with like kind of like, like big, like what are these things? Like knuckles? Like she had like big knuckles. It was kind of like a, you know, the witch from Snow White. It was kind of like her hands, but for some reason I was living for it. It was like an evil dainty hand and I liked it. Okay, so the hand that I saw, like they were like this. The hands were the antagonist. The hands were about to give you an apple and poison you. Okay, so these are some extreme special effects nails by Christina Albu. Now, what I don't get is like, this is a nail, guys. Like, that is heavy. That's a lot of detail and I like it, but look at the size of that. That's a nail. This whole thing is a nail. And like, they're doing like some sculpting. Okay, so this kind of like makes me anxious in the same way that earrings that are a little bit too heavy makes me anxious. Like, I just feel like the whole thing's gonna fall off. What if you run into something and it like breaks the nail? I know that this isn't like for an everyday wearing, but like, wow. Like, what says I'm rich more than this? Like, I can't do anything anything. I can't even wipe my own bum 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 bum. Okay, what are these? Custom acrylics. Okay, so these look like pastels. Getting the color in. That's really satisfying. What? I don't know what that is. A little salt, a little sugar. <laughs> Getting it all mixed up. Mmm. Ooh, it's a very beautiful mint green you've made there. One of my favorite colors actually to get on my nails. Actually, it's looking more like a lime to me now. Oh. <gasps> Oh, wait, how is it so beautifully slime? How is that so gobbledygoo? Is this how they make colors? Nail people, please tell me, is this how it's done? Because like, that's really cool. Or is this person using like chalk pastels and like making it pass? That is very cool. I need to see that spread once more, that beautiful spread of that, 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 Bumbleberry jam. Mm. <laughs> All of my favorite things I can liken them to food. Like, look how delicious this looks. Like, wow, I'd love to dip a little pixie stick in there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The way it fades from that green to that blue. Oh, yummy. Yummy dummy. Okay, again, another beautiful spread. Oh, 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 that is so shiny. It is so smooth. And now she's making it look like a perfectly polished crystal. I really want to get a rock tumbler and tumble some rocks so it can look like this. This looks like something that could happen in nature almost. It's beautiful. I don't like textured nails though. Like every time I mess up my nail and like there's a tiny little bubble in it, like I'll touch it for the rest of the time I have that on and it'll bother me so, so badly. So I can't, <sighs> I can't do it. Okay, so this is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting, but please, I, I need to disclaim you before this. This is just special effects. Like this isn't actually real. It's fake, but look how disgusting. Uh, I can't. It's satisfying how real that looks. <laughs>
I mean, this person had to put this is fake everywhere because I feel like otherwise TikTok would take it down. But yeah, it was real enough to make me sick. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, look how cool this thing is. This girl looked up an image, she found one, and now the machine is going That's a very nice dog you have, check it out. It is on your nail now. So when I first saw this TikTok, I was like, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna make a video of it, I'm really, really excited. But I saw that it was $800 and I just really don't want it to do that. I just really don't want to do that. I'm pretty sure Simply Nailogical has one of these, so maybe I'll just watch that. <laughs> Again, another special effect nail. Big, 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 oh, pfft, huge. Why does it have to be so big? It's beautiful, but why? Can't it be like something else? Like, can't we make it into a necklace, into like an earring? Does it have to be like hanging on your nail? Like imagine trying to smack somebody in the face. <laughs> Just couldn't. That's a nice clean nail. Oh, there's nothing more satisfying than getting your nail nice and clean. I don't know how your nail got so dirty, girl, but you're doing the right thing by fixing her up now. Oh wait, is this even a real finger? This girl is twisting and turning this finger like crazy. Oh, I love the different layers and like you can see the glitter through the translucent layer. Oh. Yummy. Oh, that looks really good. But every single time I get these jewels, they fall off immediately. So I don't get them anymore. The last time I had these, it was right when I got engaged and it was worth it. But oh, they're just such a, I hate when you, like when one falls out, it ruins my entire day. Oh gosh, please. Oi, oh, whoa. <laughs> I have like really long nail beds. So like, I'm kind of not used to seeing a nail be cut off that short. Like to me, I'm like, she's bleeding, she's wounded. But it's probably just like her nail bed if her nails match. Actually, no, this is the technicians. I'm just hoping she has short nail beds, but I really, really like these pointy nails. Like I feel like if I was a more fancy girl, I would definitely get like a pointy nail going. This is like nice nail repair. I love how thick they are too. The ones that I get are always really thin. That's really pretty. Uh, okay, I can't. I don't get how people are so good at making these like how are you gonna get the line that straight? That is so cool. It's like she's frosting a cake. Dry her up and then you put another layer. Oh my goodness, it looks so shiny. See, at first glance, I thought that this was just a very, very shiny nail, but it's just one of those things where it's just a play on colors. Stop teasing me with the gems. You're gonna make me get gems. Oh, this is just so princessy. It's so cute. Have you ever seen toenails? So long, why would you do that? Ugh. Imagine having to wear shoes that are way too big for you because this is like, these are your nails. Like I like them. And I've actually been told at the nail salon that you're supposed to have your toenails be a little bit long, but I just can't do it. I cut them really short. Like, do you cut your toenails as short as they can go or do you leave some length? I just can't imagine leaving some length. I think I'm having deja vu because I may have seen this one before. Oh, look how juicy these get. Mmm. Okay, so I remember this part, but I don't think I remember this part. What the heck is that? Oh, I don't like that. Cause I always think it's a person. Like I never think that it's a fake finger, but I really do like the Orbeez nails. Imagine like trying to shower and like shampoo and you got these Orbeez everywhere. I feel like there's no way that these would stick. They would stick about as well as the gems, unless you put a top coat, in which case you wouldn't have that that nice jelliness, but you know, I'm not a nail technician. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. All right, I think I'm sufficiently jealous. I think I feel bad enough. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.